you can select the full screen background by a touch or click on either the large input number or the video preview windows marked 1 through 4. There is a PIP icon on input preview windows 2 through 4. Touch or click those icons to toggle on red and off gray the PIP display over the corresponding input when it's active. If the button is toggled on, whenever you select that input, the PIP will display in the selected default position. If you've moved or resized the PIP window, it will appear in the same place and with the same size as specified previously. If you touch or click on input 1 or video preview window 1, the deponent's camera will display full screen and the PIP will disappear. Click on inputs 2, 3, or 4 and that image will be displayed full screen. If the PIP buttons for any of those inputs are toggled on, the deponent's PIP image will appear over the currently selected input. You can toggle the PIP on and off at any time, whether that input source is currently displayed in the program window or not, just by touching or clicking on the PIP icon. Notice that the PIP window always displays what is connected to input 1, which should be the deponent camera. The system simultaneously outputs HDMI and SDI using the included Ultra Studio Mini Monitor, which connects via Thunderbolt 3 to the VDepo engine. These outputs are typically used for displaying the operator-selected video inputs on one or more in-room monitors and for connecting the SDI output to an external device. The radio button selections for in-room display are Program with PIP Proxy, which is a gray box representing where the PIP is positioned, or the Program with the deponent camera in the PIP. If you select Program with PIP, the witness audio will be sent to the room monitor. You'll need to mute the monitor audio to avoid feedback in the room. If you've selected inputs for ISO recording, you'll see the letters REC in gray at the top of the corresponding input window. When you start recording, the REC is illuminated red during recording. They revert to gray when recording is stopped. By default, the system always shows the currently selected input on the output monitor. When the MON icon is red, it indicates that input is on the monitor. But you can click any input MON icon to override the default, forcing that input to display on the room monitor. This does not affect program production and recording, only the in-room display.